Hello everyone, my name is Nick and today I have another house plan unboxing for you guys, this time from Pepper's Nursery. So if you remember about a month ago I actually took you guys with me to go plant shopping at Pepper's Nursery and then I did a house plant haul afterwards showing you the many plants that I ended up purchasing. So I actually ended up doing mail order from them because they have a mail order website. So online they are known as Accents for Home and Garden. I think that is their website. I will include a link to their website in my description below. But they're brick and mortar place is Pepper's Nursery, but their mail order website is Accents for Home and Garden, so it's a little bit confusing, but it is the same place. So I'm really excited to see how their mail order stuff goes because I've heard good, I've heard bad, so I wanted to try it out for myself. So I have three plants in this box and we are going to get inside. It looks like I might not even need my box cutter, but let's open it up. Okay, awesome. So the plants are just sitting inside, as you can see. So I have three of them. You can probably tell what one of them is already. So I will pull that one out first. Alrighty, so just to show you guys how they are wrapped, they're wrapped in newspaper. And when I was at Pepper's Nursery, I like saw their like mail order section and like how they were packaging their plants. So I was like, looks good enough to me. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and order it. So they tape the bottom, they wrap it in newspaper. Usually people enclose the top of the plant too, but um, doesn't seem like it's been a problem for this Hoya carry eye, as you can probably already tell is what I ordered. So this is a Hoya carry eye or a Hartley Hoya. And what I particularly liked about peppers is that they sell it as the full stem. So typically you're gonna see the Hartley Hoyas sold as just the single leaf in the pot. Perhaps that's how they propagated these. It's usually not very likely that you can get a full vine, although it is possible, but it's not very likely that you'll get a full vine from propagating from a single leaf. So I'm assuming they're probably propagating this from a stem, and actually the more I look at it, the more I see that it is a chopped stem, and now it's got the new growth coming off, which is probably why it was ready to sell. So this was definitely propagated from a stem, and I'm really excited about this. I have another Hoya carry eye that I've been growing in my home, but I decided I would get another and either pot them up together or try this out in another area of my home, but it's just such a sometimes hard to come by plant, at least sold as the vine rather than the single leaf. So, and this, I should mention, I'm not positive exactly how much this costed, but I think this was $9.99, so $10, so that is a really good deal. I think my other one that I purchased costed me around $20, so that's a really good deal and a really good quality plant. You can see they have the nice heart-shaped leaves. They're a really good size. Here's the one that probably came up, the mother plant that's a little bit more intact because it's, you know, this is the new growth, but yeah, it looks really good. I'm really thrilled already. Okay, so let's pull out another one. Okay. <laughs> this is such an interesting way to package plants. So this one, as you can probably tell, is a philodendron hostatum before I even take it out. And this one leaf is kind of, looks a little curled up. It doesn't look entirely damaged. I guess we'll inspect it when we take it out, but an anticlimactic that I, you can see what my plants are before I even open them. But it's the one unboxing. Alrighty, so this is a philodendron silver sword or philodendron hostatum silver sword. They're selling them as a philodendron X silver. Peppers is selling this as philodendron X silver and they are calling it the silver moonshine philodendron. However, if this is the same plant as it looks, I would assume that this is the plant that we are more familiar with as the silver sword philodendron, but who knows? It could be a different cultivar. The tag says, as a rare and unusual hybrid philodendron, leaves have fine alternating silver and green stripes. We will see about that. But um, this was a really good deal. This was, I believe, $12, if not like $12.99 or $13. And one thing I kind of want to ask and see if any seasoned gardeners out there know, I've noticed that Pepper's Greenhouse, that they cover a lot of the plants that they have with rice holes. And it's all soil underneath, it's just a top layer, but I'm just wondering if any of you seasoned gardeners out there know why this is a thing. Um, but this is really large. This is actually a lot larger than I was expecting it to be for the price. These leaves are rather mature. So I was kind of thinking that this would come in smaller than the other one that I had, which is kind of hiding behind me, um, was. But it's 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 quite a bit larger, and the, the, the stem itself is actually quite thick. It's definitely thicker than my pinky. So 
That's rather exciting. I was not expecting this to be that large. Upon further inspection, this leaf really is not that damaged. It does have this one little break right here, which, you know, was probably from it being in the box. But besides that, that's all. I honestly think this is an excellent deal. It's going to take a day or two or a week maybe to really get back to its normal shape. Um, but I am thrilled. Look at this plant. It's wonderful. That was a steal for 12 or $13. That, that is for certain. And I have one more plant in this box. Let's pull it out. Oh, wow. This looks fantastic already. So I will pull this one out before sharing with you guys what it is. But you might be able to see already. So this is what I know as philodendron myoi, but Peppers is selling this as philodendron tahiti, which I am not positive if that is a different hybrid or cultivar of a very similar plant or if it's just a different name. I'm kind of under the impression that it's just a different name for this plant from what I've been seeing, but it's a really, really cool plant and this was a really good deal. I think that this one was only like seven or eight dollars so it was definitely a really good deal. Like, I got this rubber band over top but wow a really nice little plant it's just one little cutting in the pot i'm assuming they probably got these as the larger hanging basket philodendron tahitis and are propagating them which is exciting because those are a little bit large for my home if you've been seeing those at all at your local nurseries but it has a wonderful new leaf coming in and a beautiful, beautiful leaf that's already well developed. So I would consider this as well a really good deal for the $8 I spent. So I think overall, if I'm not mistaken, including shipping, these three plants, the Hoya Carii, the Philodendron Silver Moonshine, as they're selling it as, and the Philodendron Tahiti, this was, I believe, $42 and change. So that is a really, really good deal specifically because it had this philodendron silver moonshine i'll call it that this plant right here alone i think is usually wildly overpriced on the internet we all want it and people know that and they will charge a pretty penny for it so not to say it's not worth a lot of money but if you can find this plant for a steal that is definitely worth doing because it's easy to propagate, it's not that hard to find, but it's just hard to find at a good deal, as I said. So I'm really thrilled that Peppers had this. Uh, I'm thrilled to see the outcome of these plants. Like I said, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things about Pepper's Greenhouse, so I was kind of curious to see for myself, specifically the mail order, and I mean, I guess the greenhouse in general. You always hear good and bad things about everything, um, but I'm, I'm thrilled, I highly recommend it. I think this was a wonderful purchase. I'll definitely be purchasing, purchasing from them again. I'll probably be waiting till the season is over. And oh my gosh, I'm actually seeing right now on the Soya Carii that there is a peduncle. Of course, it was from the mature plant, so I probably won't get flowers on it for a year or two when it, if it does rebloom, if that even is a peduncle. I could be wrong, but it looks like something. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my Pepper's Greenhouse unboxing. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day!